Are you excited about what's in the box? Well, I'm, I'm scared actually. My biggest fear is, what if somehow they're not alive? Even though we paid to fly in via airport, our paperwork with our CITES, CITES. import paperwork and everything, so we're legit. Here we go. I hope they're okay because they're not moving or anything. They just do turtles sleep? We don't know. You'd think they move a flipper or something. Maybe they're a little cold. How about if we get a, a, a like a little, bucket of water? Or yeah, you want to try that first? May as well. Okay. Yeah. Let me see if this gets you over here. Any light? To get, no, starting to get worried. I haven't seen any movement from these guys at all. Wow. All right. Grab the camera. Come on, little guys. We're just gonna rinse the shell a little bit. They ship them in wet peat moss is what they do. Okay, let's check. You want to try to wolf them? May as well, I mean, we'll keep an eye. We'll separate them before we do anything else, just. That one definitely moved when I picked it up. Hopefully they're just a little spooked and, yep, okay, Tired. moving. Good. Yeah, coming alive, buddy. Look at that one. There Champion. You go. Champion. A little bit more. Just rinse the back of the shell off, I think. All right, the logic is smaller one to you might have a little bit better odds of being a male, which stays smaller, smaller. long term. But this is completely random. These are pretty cool. Yeah. So which is the smaller one? I would say this, this is guy? the smaller one by a little bit. Okay. But I want this hand. He's active at least. That's good. Yeah. There we go. Little Look at the trail. little guy. Ooh. Okay, he's going swimming now. Hopefully. He'll probably just burrow is my guess. My guess is he's going straight to I'm a hide town. Kind of waiting for him to take off out of me. There you go, it's starting to swim a little bit. Oh, that's a relief right there. I wonder if he's like full of air or something right now. I'm kind of thinking maybe because he's, he's floating a little yeah, bit. Yeah, he's like... Yeah, you see him burping the air out? Yep, yep. Must take in, it must have to like fill with uh, with water to get his, whatever buoyancy he's, what he does. Cool little critter. Yeah. He's already the coolest thing you own, Dean. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> My daughter was texting me this morning. What time? What time? Oh, yeah. She'll be making a yeah. stop, I'm sure. Definitely burping air out. Just took, yep. the, just took the gulp. Another one. Nice. Katie's already named ours. We're naming it Elmer. Oh, really? Okay, so yeah. I gotta stay away from that. So I'm thinking I'm gonna do something on uh, my Instagram. Okay. Uh, might have like some sort of naming contest. I have to think of a prize that everybody would want besides the turtle. I'm going to lobby to make it be like Jake2246. <laughs> <laughs> uh, here's a couple eggs I missed right here. You yeah, see them? I saw them, yeah. I can see a few. He likes you, Corey. That's right. He's getting better at swimming. Right. Yep. Probably just, you know, it's just like fish sometimes, you know, there's a lot of little shock from the shipping process. Yeah, I would imagine there is some uh, thermal change yeah. and just like, we're, I, you know, I never heard anyone even say this, but once we put him in the water, he was floating and then burping out air. Like, oh, that makes sense. Yeah, you know, totally we makes sense. never read anything been, about it. He's been out of the water for probably uh, half a day. Yeah. And they can go out to spawn and everything, so it's not like we're you know keeping yeah, a turtle yeah. out of water. I mean, they don't go and bask or anything like that, but... Yeah. That's pretty awesome. 
All right, well, back home now. And I uh, got the top off with some help. And I put in one of these little cave thingies. I'm waiting for my Universal Rock stuff to show up. Uh, I got some floating Salvinia Minima from Dean. So maybe the turtle will want to eat it because they eat veggies, fruit, meat, all kinds of stuff. Mostly they'll eat the meat when they're younger. Not meat per se, but proteins, heavier proteins, younger, transitioning to mostly uh, herbivore veggies later. So huh, it feels, it's harder than I thought. Like compared to like a soft shell turtle. Let's see if he's got to do his burping thing too, or if he's. I probably will add a piece of driftwood or something in there just temporarily while he acclimates before we actually set it up and smooth out sand and do everything we want to do. FX4 in there with a 55 watt UV sterilizer, CASA timer, uh, our lights. So these are our lights that are um, running this tank. You can see the the change is because one lights to the back. Get this going here. Probably won't feed them today. Let them settle in and then try feeding tomorrow. Let's put this right on top here. We're naming, I don't know if we specified that, but my wife uh, helped name him and his name is Elmer. So, what are you doing back here? There's not, no danger back here for you, right? I think you'll be fine. I don't think you can get stuck there. You have this giant 230 gallon tank and you want to hide there. So that's the important part is I think that is, that's a hiding behavior. Fish do this too. When you give them a giant aquarium and they want to go to where they think they're going to be safe, it's they don't feel safe yet. So I'll probably come over here and find some wood. Probably not with my buse and stuff like that on it. More like this piece of wood here. It has a little bit of plants on it, but for this guy, We'll put some structure in. Is he still hanging out up there? Yeah. So we gotta watch, I don't know if you guys have probably seen, but all the white spots could lead to, to fungus or they were previous fungus, that kind of stuff. So we're gonna be on high alert and hopefully, that's the thing that takes down small turtles or small uh, fly river turtles. You know, obviously water quality and all that, like you need to be like keep fish quality water and not turtle quality water. All right, I'm gonna feed Ladybird now because she is dying for attention, or at least she was five minutes ago. Hopefully this guy will calm himself a little bit. Ladybird is like, okay, I'm ready to eat. What are you doing? You're in here and you're walking around my, this is my space, where's my food? Uh, you wouldn't know it yet because it hasn't come out on video and I haven't seen them with the lights on, but there's a big elephant nose in there now. That's what that bag is from. So there's one more inhabitant. Actually, and then, I don't know if I filmed it, but there's also auto sync lists. Which is the worst angle ever. I'm bad at my job. Get a few more. So yeah, I got six auto sync lists for a tank this size. They're still doing work. And then uh, kind of a funny thing the other day, a couple days ago, I don't know if they're still there, but as I was looking over the tank and noticing the blue-green algae that's setting in, ugh, Zenzo cut out a, b uh, a bunch of the rosy barbs. I think there's just a pair, maybe a trio left of rosy barbs. Blue-green algae setting in. I've got some new fish I'm gonna try and bring in to solve that problem. The rosy barbs have been spawning and they're raising up in this tank. So if you look in the back, you see my reflection, but there's that fish through my reflection. And the elephant nose lives inside that big cave. Like goes up in, in the inside. It comes out at night all the time. I always think Ladybird's getting close to Murphy size and then I go to the store and it's not even close. Murphy's been putting on poundage and size. It's getting huge. All right, well, it's been a few weeks. I'd say like a month or so. The soft shell turtle in the 230 gallon tank. We're watching the shell there. I'm trying to determine if that's just shedding 
or if that's uh, a little bit of fungus and doing my my research if you will today's a day well came in yesterday but I can put some decorations in there now we could also add some fish and things like that and I gotta get the right look I just ordered four pieces I want to test fit make sure that he's unlikely to get stuck but also provide like I want to put the black ghost knife in there and potentially the eel as well first I gotta wash all this stuff because it's it's not like it's not my hand right now, but it's super dirty. It always comes in so dirty, so. I don't know if you guys will be able to see that, but like you see all this dirt and stuff just from rubbing it a couple of times. That's the majority of the stuff I'm trying to get off is just whatever was used in the process. That just ends up in your tank. I feel like for the prices, like I don't know how much this one was. It's probably 150 bucks or something. You can see that the tops are messed up here. like. Can you guys see that? That's like some foam. So it's missing the rubber and you can see it got bent here at some point. You know, it doesn't leave you with that like, yeah, I totally recommend this. Everyone should do it feeling. So it's like, well, I, I wish there was better out there. So I'm not convinced this is the final form or anything like that, but you know, I'm trying to accomplish some goals. We haven't really moved the fish in yet. And the goals would be kind of hiding some of the plumbing, which I think the right hand piece does. I want to accommodate some of the fish, like if I put the black ghost knife in there, I kind of want him to live in that centerpiece, or he can come live back over here. You know, kind of, it, so it's the ugliest side from, you know, the refrigerator over here, you're going to see that and be like, oh. But from the majority of, I think, the looking, which would be mostly from this angle, you can walk into the room from here, so you'd see this angle. And so you can see how much room I wanted to leave up front so that Elmeric could swim as he kind of grows for a while. Yeah, you can just see those tops right there. It just looks terrible. It's, yeah, that, it's stuff like that that just, oh, dang it. If we look at the ghost knife, which is over here, living in this giant cave, I can catch him out, move him over. This is actually some water celery that I got from our picnic which is a local GSAS club picnic so and then we've got the eel over here there's a cool behavior going on in the 800 gallon though I added horse face loaches why not they'll help churn up the substrate which they have I also put erythromycin in here to help kill it off so antibiotic plus some fish but these guys are super cool because in small groups, I've only ever seen them hide in the substrate. But as you can see, they are schooling around. But yeah, all right, well, we'll chime in on another day and when things settle down, we'll get them eating and, well, he eats, but we'll show you eating and that kind of stuff. So we'll cut to that. And then he runs. Proof he actually eats. Lights aren't on yet. So cool. 